Oh my gosh, there is a sale. 50% off the entire store. She needs a good chiropractor, that girl does. Oh look, it's a whole bucket of lids. <laughs> Look at the color on these plates. Wowza, these are bright. Oh, they're temptations. I would not have guessed these were temptations. Good morning, Boosh. What you doing, Peanut? Say good morning to everybody. the whole Black Friday get out and go like shop the crazy sales. That's not me. But I thought it would be fun to come down and see what Goodwill's doing for Black Friday. I suspect it's same old, same old. <laughs> Usual. Uh, but that's okay. I'm looking for items that I can sell on my Monday Whatnot sale that are going to be part of the Cyber... Monday seller train. I think I said that right. Maybe. Anyway, there are several of us who are part of this all day long event on Monday, which is Cyber Monday. It's for all the online sellers. And we are doing $2 starts on all of our stuff. So uh, if you look on my Monday show, look for this thumbnail and then look for that thumbnail on all the other sellers for that day that are using that because they're all doing the same thing. $2 starts on some really cool merchandise. If you have not yet signed up for Whatnot, what are you waiting for? No, honestly, it is, it is a fantastic new venue. It's only two years old. And the vintage and collectible and the estate stuff is only like six months old. It's like, it's brand fresh baby getting going and it's super exciting. I am loving it and I'm doing a lot of sales over there. So if you haven't signed up yet, go ahead and use the link down in my description that is gonna get you $15 to just go spend any way you like. It doesn't even have to be my sale, go spend it. I know a lot of you, you signed up, you've got money sitting there to spend and you haven't spent it. Honestly, get your feet wet. Go find something cool. Whether you're a reseller, there are bargains galore of things that you can resell. Or Christmas shopping, it's, I, I'm, I'm over there all the time because I love it so much. Anyway, didn't mean to make this an advertisement about whatnot, but I am just super excited about it. And uh, I want to get you guys excited about it too. All right, so that's my mission today. Go in there. See what I can find for my Monday whatnot sale. Let's get shop done. Oh my gosh, there is a sale. 50% off the entire store. 50% off the entire store. And then tomorrow is 50% off red tags. Ooh, this could be fun. Now I'm kind of wishing I'd have got here earlier, but see, I don't like the carts that have trash in it. Those aren't lucky to me. There we go, this one. This appears to be our lucky cart. Let us head over to the home decor and tchotchke shelves and see what goodies we can find. Yeah, I'm really kind of bummed that I didn't know it was 50% off. How did I not know that? That's okay, we're still, we're still gonna find stuff because I'm sure they brought stuff out all day. They probably stopped, brought stuff out maybe even like 30 minutes ago. Okay, nothing too exciting. On these shelves, what are you? Oh, you're plastic. Thought you were pottery. Ooh, I suspect the shelves are going to be pretty wiped out having a 50% off sale. There's a cool glass pumpkin. Pumpkin candle holder. I don't know who makes you. It's newer though. It's kind of a pretty wreath. With a little cardinal in it. I mean, it's not, you know, 
super high quality or anything. It's just kind of pretty. That's a little sake bottle. What are these? Oh, they're little, um, like anime. Are they stickers? I'm not sure. It's not really my thing. It's not really my thing. Okay, what's going to be our first item? This could be an interesting evening. It's a good thing I have stuff at home on the shelves I can grab from. Got a little candle holder. There's a little vintage doll. The better choice, Concord Enterprises. Eh. Oh, I see little hedgy hogs. So at 50% off, it makes them $2.50 each. These things aren't cheap to buy either, so those I am gonna pick up. And then there's, ooh, this one's. Oh, he's for the yard, he's a little yard art guy. He'd be $2.52. He's a little rough though, a little cracked. I'm gonna leave him. I hope somebody will, will grab him and give him a good home. This is just a little shell. We're gonna eh, not take that one. It's a very talkative little child behind me. Oh, do you have, let's see, that would be the, is the pepper three and the salt two? Is that how it works? Oh yeah, it's the little siesta guy. And sadly, he's chipped. Darn it. If he wasn't chipped, we'd get him. Tuscany Sweets. I'm not exactly sure what that is. She needs a good chiropractor. That girl does. It's got a little bit of a Jim Shore look to it, but it's not marked Jim Shore. It'd be... Two dollars for the little weevil wobble chicken. She's kind of cute. I feel like if nobody bought the weevil wobble chicken, uh, Rachel would give it a good home. I don't know that I'm gonna find any high dollar items at this point in the evening with it having been on sale all day long. I could get lucky and they could bring out another card of stuff. It's not so late that they wouldn't be doing that. Okay, somebody asked me about this Shakespeare in the Garden book, and I hope they are watching uh, because I don't mind picking this kind of stuff up for you, but then you guys got to contact me for the purchase. How much is Shakespeare in the Garden? $1.50. All right, I'm going to pick that up for the viewer who asked me to get the Shakespeare book. And then I'm thinking, is that the one or was it at a different store? Because I'm confused now. But hopefully, that one is something they want. It's a cute little um, basket. It's Grace Pantry. I think that's Grace's Teaware. That's super cute. And it's in really good shape. And it would only be $2. So, oh, wait, I spoke too soon. Darn it handle is cracked. That's why you see me like putting my hands all over stuff because sometimes you don't see it and then you feel it and then you can make that decision whether to leave it or buy it. Huh. Compare at $20. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. What are, open this end. Jemima, oh, these are Beatrice Potter eggs. Beatrice Potter eggs. And there's like, there's a whole bunch of them here. Are they in, like somebody has just ripped these apart. Oh, they're red tagged. That's why they're still here. But some, oh look, oh look, they're empty. People. I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you exactly what happened. 
because they're red tagged. Somebody wanted these for 50% off. So that one's in there. That one's in there. But they probably uh, just took the one they wanted up to the register and said, oh, this doesn't have a price tag. And then got it for much, much cheaper. That's a shame. What's this? A little, just a little can. Bone Appetit. Okay, so funny story. Noah was all set to cook a turkey. We got a cute little six pound turkey for just the three of us. And I had told him, you need to take that out of the freezer on Sunday. Oh look, my big fork is still here. Um, I said, take it out of the freezer on Sunday. And I just assumed he had. And then I found out Tuesday he hadn't. I'm like, uh-oh. I said we could be in trouble, but we took it out nonetheless. And sure enough, yesterday that turkey was still frozen solid at uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. So we made a executive decision to uh, find some place that had Thanksgiving meals. And we got a whole uh, Thanksgiving dinner from Black Bear Diner delivered to our door by Uber Eats. And so we had our, our Thanksgiving. So now we're gonna do another Thanksgiving on Saturday, because now the turkey is thawed, <laughs> and now he has to cook it. <laughs> so, you know what? It's not about the food, right? It's about family and being thankful and all that good stuff. Alrighty. Oh, I bet they're not gonna bring out another cart of stuff because of it being 50% off. I bet you, I bet you they're holding back until after the sale I should ask I should ask if even anything got brought out today because these shelves are about as bare as they ever have been for me that is a very poorly done salt glaze pitcher look at that it's like it doesn't even it doesn't even line up so we will not be getting that oh look it's a whole bucket of lids <laughs> And they probably uh, tried to sell the containers uh, with no lids. This has a snickerdoodle recipe on it. Because who doesn't love a good snickerdoodle? Look at your cake. I wonder how old this is. Snickerdoodle cup. Hmm. It's kind of fun. Kind of like having the recipe. Like you could be sitting there cooking drinking your coffee or your tea or whatever and reading your uh I feel like Rachel would like to make some snickerdoodles you know what if it doesn't sell we'll make some snickerdoodles I realized too that I have not given you guys a critter update for quite some time so that will be at the end of today's video as well we just moved our two indoor tortoises out to the garage so that they can stay nice and cool. Look at this sign. It says Louisville Slugger. Hillerick and Bradsey Company. I mean, it's a repro sign, but it's kind of cool. It's a little big, a little big to be shipping for for whatnot though, so I'm gonna leave that one behind. Look how cute these are. And I always go like, why are they still here? Did somebody plug them in and they don't work? Well, you know what, we're gonna find out. Uh, Cause those are super adorable. So they would only be $4 and uh, we're gonna go test them in a bit. I'm having suspicions that they may not work and that's why they're still here, but you never know. We won't count it out until uh, until we get there. The plastics are pretty full as usual. It seems like a lot of space to give to something that doesn't sell very well. This is little nativity figures. They are made in Italy. I see Jesus. I see Joseph. I see a wise man on a camel. I see another camel, and I can't tell, is that, no, that's like another shepherd, so we're missing Mary, but 
I think these are Fontanini. Uh, so for four bucks, I am going to go ahead and pick these up. All right, let's see if there's any fantastical glassware that we need to bring with us. What are these? Gold Margarita RR. Don't know what those are. What are you? Old Guys Rule. I think that's like a, a brand too. Like, I think they make clothing. I think I've seen clothing while I have been out shopping. I really need to get back to the swap meet too. Gotta see if any of my Vegas peeps are up for a swap meet foray here pretty soon because whoop, that's not me. I uh, missed going there. These are cool little wavy glasses, ziggity zaggities. I think I'm going to leave them, but I'm not going to leave my little siesta guys who, now I wouldn't pick these up for $3 each, which is what they were marked, but I will pick them up for $1.50 each. And then I have a pair. And then I always have the dilemma when I find a third one, but eh, what's a girl to do? All right, so we have three. All right, nothing else there, nothing else there. We've got mugs. Oh, it looks vintagey. It's cute, but it's just a single with a chip. Well, that's not going to do us any good. I mean, the idea is not just to start it at $2, but to sell it for more than $2. So we are looking for quality items. Giftable items, fun items, collectible items. Oh, old household services. Had some angels mugs. I think that is a toilet brush holder. I have picked these up before and then regretted it. So uh, that's as far as I'm touching that one. Got some amethyst glass. These are all red tagged though. That's gonna be on sale tomorrow though. Bello Ros Rosso Pomodora. It's a cool, uh, Italian pasta dish made in Italy for over and back. Hmm. Kind of nice. Christmas dish, Fairfield, China. I spotted this little canister with the acorn finial. It's not super high end or anything. Yeah, you can see it's a hallmark but it's really cute for $2.50. So that I think I'm gonna grab. Look at the color on these plates. Wowza, these are bright. Oh, they're Temptations. I would not have guessed these were Temptations. So it's $5.99 for the four dinner plates, $1.99 for the three dessert, little dessert plates and $4.99 for the four bowls. Now there is a little bit of chipping on these bowls, but even if I can find two, two, and two to sell together as, a, as just a, like a, a pairing, uh, remember it's a dollar, three, four, it's only like six bucks for that entire set. I'm grabbing it. Plus I just really kind of love the color. It's uh, what did, oh, Mikey Bags of Money called it a color. Oh, Hazard. Hazard orange, you know, like the they make the hazard vets vests out of. Got a little made in Japan shofu plate. Nothing too exciting. Let's see anything else exciting? I don't think so. Oh, I found out you guys. I. I don't know if you remember watching the video where I found a whole bunch of these, but they're for tacos, for taco shells. Now I kind of want to find some more, but 
We can't bake in these or anything because I'm pretty sure that's non-stick on there. But I like the concept. Oh, wow, the cookware section is completely wiped out. Everybody's grabbing all their stuff to uh, make all their holiday meals, apparently. This is a 24-piece kitchen caddy. Got some... They're plastic, but you have to watch, like, some of the old Tupperware ones uh, can actually be worth quite a bit of money. So you got to be on the lookout for those. We found that out recently because we got a set in at the store and the girls were looking them up and couldn't believe how much they're selling for online. Oh man. Probably good that I'm not getting too much stuff because I got a lot of stuff last week that I still have to process through and right now I got a bunch of stuff sitting in my driveway because I had to make room for tortoises in the garage so I got my work cut out for me. Why does this pan have holes in the bottom? How do you use that? What does that say? Something Mark Charles Massilli. I don't know. That's that's a new one for me. I don't know how you cook with that. I don't understand it. This is a really pretty tea set. Of course, it is red tagged. No name. Oh, it would have had stickers. You can't read that sticker anymore because somebody probably used the set and then washed it and then the sticker came off. Wow, there's all kinds of pretty little teacups and such. These are Bavaria. Don't make me say that other name there. Uh, Portland is the pattern name. Very dainty, very nice. More of the amethyst glass. And that's about it in the dishes, except these looked somewhat interesting. Yeah, no name or anything. We're gonna leave them. Alright, let's see. General use sponge four ply. And we're always, with all the animals that we have, we're always looking at you know, supplies that we can use, put them in a first aid kit, that kind of thing. And these are, um, actually I might get one of these to put in our first aid kit down at the store because these are gauze sponges. I mean, that can, that can come in handy if you got a bleeder. I'm just saying. These are, are they pumice stone? Yeah, magic stone has an endless number of uses beyond grills. These are really good. These work really good to clean some surfaces. So I'm going to grab those for my own kitchen use. Oh, let's see what else. I see turtles. I see turtles. Huh, very, very cheaply made little vinyl uh, cover there. We don't need that. Oh man, let's see. Oh look, it's a special Thai beanie baby. Ah, you know, <laughs> back in the day, many, many, many people made a good living selling those beanie babies. Yes, there are still some that are worth a little bit of money, but finding them and doing all of the research and all that, uh, to me, not worth it. We've got Santa and Mrs. Claus sitting on a cow on a flat couch, no less. Oh, missing the battery. Thingamajigger. So that's probably not in working order. Oh, come on. These little teacups do not belong over here. Let's uh, take them back to their proper home. Let's see. This one went over here with this set. This one, this one might be a singleton. Oh, I see another one like it. There, there we go. Oh, let's see what other mishy-mashy stuff we can find. Blackout tape. What is that? Blackout tape. What would you use that for? I'm almost looking at stuff and going, what could I use that for? 
Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you'd use that for. Master Chef, what? Master Chef family cooking game, what? Oh, this could be fun. Teach kids to cook with fun cooking challenges. Come with two child safe knives and blindfolds. Age is seven plus. I wonder if it's too young to play like with Noah. Try foods blindfolded and guess what they are to figure out what mystery ingredient. I feel like that'd be fun though, wouldn't it? Discover new dishes and cuisines with 22 family. It feels like it's all in there. It's pretty heavy. How much was it? Six, which makes it three. I think we're going to take a chance. Rubberized shims. Quiet performance. Oh, brake pads. There we go. Ooh, how about a one thing toothbrush? Huh. Soft bristles. For a buck that, do you know how expensive toothbrushes are? This has got a little tiny toothbrush head on it though. I'm not super excited about that. Paintbrushes for a buck, you know who that's going to. Got a big old strap of some kind in there. Clothing dyes. Streamers. Beer Master. Cup Cozy, Budweiser Cup Cozy. Sometimes the old advertising stuff can be worth a bit of money. Now let's take a peek. Let's see, anything good in the lamps? I hope not. I don't want to deal with any lamps, but I would if there was something spectacular. Nothing spectacular. Good, good, good. Real chocolate to make a decadent treat. Gourmet hot chocolate maker. Oh, Ooh, I feel like that might be a good thing to get Rachel for Christmas, but new, not used. I'd definitely buy a new one for her. She, both my kids gave me their Christmas lists. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be busy. I'm gonna be busy. Cross fingers, cross fingers. We are going to test the lights. Oh, if I can do it. They work, they work, the lights work. Yay. All right, let's see what we got over in the furniture. I saw the saddest thing on the side of the road. Uh, the other day off the freeway I, if it had been any other road I probably would have stopped and rescued it but somebody dropped a an antique this this is what made me think of it it looked very similar to this an antique little sofa and uh, it was just sitting on the side of the road waiting to be rescued but it was not for me to rescue sadly it's kind of pretty all right, they've got most of the furniture. Actually, they got all the furniture red tagged, so they know they know how to prepare for a sale. I mean, and then tomorrow, all the all the red tags are half off. So, do I need anything? I don't think I do. There's something very poetic about that print right there, isn't there? This that single like branch of a tree with the sun behind it. I don't know why that one kind of kind of calls to me but it's big and I don't really want to deal with it. This is a P. Gibson vintage print. I'm gonna come back to the art over here because there are people looking through it right now and I don't want to get in the way. This is cool. Again it says I'm not sure who that is. And there's two of them. Probably came out of like a hotel or a doctor's office. It's that, it's kind of that kind of art, so. All right, let's keep going. Wowza. All of the, like the, like the big comforters and bedding is usually what they put here. And this aisle is completely wiped out. There's a few rugs and then there's some pillows. Probably not anything that's going to be worth picking up today. K 
Casey Kane Dodge seat cushion. Okay, what are you? Family rules. Yeah, it's cute. Whole bunch of these. I don't know, guys. I don't. I don't. I'm not. I'm not fond of the black. I'm not fond. I dare to call them ugly, but that's my taste. Uh, somebody might really, really like these. I mean, they're new with tags. They were only five bucks. Okay, they're little cheap pillows, but I'm not. I'm not digging the black. Oh boy, the toys are really, really shoveled through. But we're gonna take a peek anyway. Got a little Star Wars guy in here. Come here, little fella. Come here, little Yoda. You don't see much of Yoda anymore. You always see his little, the little guy, the little, what, the, the, oh gosh, what's his name? I always call him Baby Yoda, but I've been corrected on that. He's not priced. I feel like I need to get the uh, Yoda and put him with the rest of all my plush that I need to sell. All right, how did Yoda get left behind? Maybe because he didn't have a price, so somebody just left him? Aw. You're ottered this world. All right, let's take a little ogle through the purses. Let's see what we got. Oh, sure. Charming Charlie, that used to be a pretty good brand. You know, I love the color of that one. Who makes you? Come here. Come here. I gotta see who makes you. Oh my goodness. Color is out of this world. Oh, it's another Charming Charlie. It would be six fifty. I feel like... I feel like... I need this. I need this for six fifty. What is this? Where their phone is just ringing off the hook. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. No. Don't see anything else. They had all these racks of clothes that they just brought out. So I have just kind of been perusing through those a little bit and found myself a couple things. I bought some bright pink. It, pink's not usually my color, but I do need some sweatshirts, so I like I like half price. It's only three bucks, so got that. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know how old these are. Okay, so it's a skirt. This I got for resale, by the way. Uh, I would not wear this, but it's Mars Attacks. Look it. This is epic. It's, it's only $2.50. Uh, it, it's hilarious. I had to get it. Had to get it. And then this one, I'm pretty sure, doesn't when it's Port and Company, isn't it? Doesn't it mean that it's a knockoff? But it does have a Disney, a Disney logo there. So I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you guys can uh, fill me in because I'm not really a clothing seller. But it is Snow White with an apple in a size large, and it's only a buck fifty. So clothing purchases today. I almost forgot the Christmas section. How can we forget the Christmas section? All right, let's look. Can't touch this. It is a giant dog toy. Oh my goodness. So uh, Daisy's coming out here with Jordan and her boyfriend for Christmas. And uh, I feel like uh, that's uh, Daisy's Christmas present right there. Score for Daisy something in there? No, just an empty box. Oh, what did I do with all of my little solar dams? I bought a whole bunch of these. And now I'm thinking like, what did I do with them? What did I do with them? I, I don't even know. That's my life. <laughs> this guy looks vintage. He looks like, um, not very high quality though. He looks like one of those like home party. Gosh, what's the name I'm trying to think of? House of Lloyds? Is that what I'm trying to think of? Something like that. He's older, but he's older yet not so desirable. Gingerbread, snowman, cookie mix. Okay, all right. Let's 
a nice stocking holder. How would he sit though? How does he mount? How do you, how do you, I guess he just, I guess he just sits far enough back that he's got some weight to him. Well, it's kind of nice. Hmm. I always like to pick these up because I find pieces and then if you have the actual creche to go with it, then it makes it a lot more valuable. So for $3, I'm picking that up. Pretty ornaments. Just a little, oh, is this vintage stuff? Christmas morning, exclusively for Hanfords. It's made in China, so it's not. Cute little sequin. What is this? It's just a little whole box of stuff. Selling it all together for how much? For $2.50? I kind of want those little sequin stars. So you knew it? Let's just close that up and put it in the cart. What do we got behind here? We've got some... What do we have? I don't know what we have. Nothing. Nothing super exciting. Nothing super exciting. We have, oh, yes. Okay, I don't quite understand that, but uh, 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 all right. Somebody had a concept there. I'm not sure it went as planned. Okay, we've got more nativity figures. These are just made in China. Those are not super good ones. What are you? Whole bunch of ornaments. Nothing. Nothing high quality. Mm -hmm. What are these? Little, little baggies? No. Little, I'm not sure. I don't know if, if you watched me, uh, I lose track of the days. I don't know how many days ago, but I bought some little craft kits for Rachel. And Rachel's already gone to town. She is making stuff with those. And she said, I can sell that stuff in my whatnot sales so I'll be selling some of Rachel's creations you gotta play to get them oh do these come out of the um like those claw machines MC no ACMI huh. probably you have probably end up paying you know like 20 bucks by the time you get your one dollar toy this is kind of a cute little advent Thing. I guess you pull the things aside to make the chimney to where Santa can come down. Cute. Oh, it's broken. See, I like kind of the classy looking decor for my own house. You know, not that the other stuff is not classy, but I hope you know what I'm saying here. Like, you know, it's, it's more elegant. It's more like subtle, if you will. There's more of these sugar loaf guys. Oh, he's got an interesting face. Who makes you Santa? It's not, isn't that cute? A little, a little advent thing. Is that for the days of Christmas? Yeah, and you pull it out when, uh, yeah, and you get all the way to the 24th. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. Oh, they're going here. Okay, that is cool. My grandson made me Oh, is it missing some of that top? Oh, is it? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. There was probably, maybe Santa was up on top, and then you get to the end, and then Santa comes down the chimney. That would make sense. This guy. I thought it was a nutcracker, but it's not a nutcracker. It's got an interesting face. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do 
you work? Do you still cluck? Do you still sing? No. Oh, this is what I was going to look at. Oh, it's liquid. No, no liquid. No liquid. No liquid for this girl. Alright. So, Goodwill buys some of this stuff and then they yellow tag it. Uh, this caught my eye. Check it out. Oops, let's see if I can one hand it, one hand it. Look, it lights up. It's so cute. I would totally wear that, but I don't need it. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be good. And then they have different ones. Oh, let's see what the snowman. Let's see what the snowman looks like. <gasps> oh, there we go. Bright little snowman guy. I like him. I like him. <laughs> Does this one light up? Okay. If this one doesn't light up, oh yeah, it does, it does. Okay. Goodness, I think I, I might have to get one. See, I missed one little section here because somebody else was shopping it. We love Santa just because that's exactly what's in there. Little light up guy. It was the night before Christmas and his pillow was chipped. So he stayed on the Goodwill shelf because no one gave a rip. <laughs> Sometimes I crack myself up. Oh my goodness. Look at the look at the really horrible paint job on those faces. Wow. Wow, time for a time for a new paintbrush. Baggies of stuff. Nothing in there, nothing there. Doggy play toys. How'd their doggy play toys get over here? Apparently that wasn't one of theirs. That or they retag. No, these were theirs. These were theirs over on the shelf where they used to be. Yep, they used to be yellow tag. Now they have Goodwill tagged them. We don't do those kind of toys. Our dogs are a little bit more spoiled than that. One more last little section of stuff here. Some more baggies. Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's a nice glass Santa, but he's not worth a whole bunch. Oh, I see some, possibly some topiary deer. Topiary deer alert. Let's see if we can get to them. What do we got? What do we got? We've got one, two, little topiary deer here, which I do love. I do love them a lot. So for $2, we're gonna grab them. Yeah, I found a couple more pieces of clothes. Now this was in with the Christmas stuff, but clearly it's not Christmas. It's the Lone Beagle. It is uh, Snoopy, Peanuts. It's got an interesting, interesting, uh, labeling here. I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably sell that next time I have a whole bunch of like peanut stuff. I'll sell it in a whatnot sale. And then this I just found uh, funny and comfy and uh, this is for me. Well for shopping on a 50% off sale at the end of the day I still didn't do too bad with loading my cart. Pretty happy with that. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, how much it's worth on eBay. And uh, then after that, I'm going to give you a critter update. Everybody's been asking. So uh, here you go.
it is time to feed the fishies. So we have to thaw two frozen cubes of brine shrimp. Then I gotta churn them all up, stir them all up, make it all ready to go in before I do that. Um, so an update on this tank. Uh, as you can see, there are no fish left in this tank. We, we everything was wiped out um, by a crazy disease that came in through one, possibly more of the fish that came from the fish store. The fish store's taking care of me. No worries, they're taking care of me. Uh, but we're still looking at at least two weeks before we can put fish back into this aquarium uh, because it's a little, it's like a little parasite kind of bug for lack of a better term and it all has to die out and it dies because it doesn't have any hosts to feed on. I also bought this, oh this door it does not open well, hold on, stand by, there we go. So I bought this, uh, this is a UV filter so all the water runs through here and gets UV um, lighting on it that kills all that little stuff too. This is, this is what like all the filter, I know it's a little dark, this is all the filter stuff working down here. It's quite an operation. That's why I have a guy that comes and maintains it for me. Uh, so we do still have our little corals. I got that one. I got that one. And I got that one which are doing just fine. And then, well, we bought, <laughs> we bought a horseshoe crab, but a horseshoe crabs uh, just bury themselves all day. And we bought another one of the little uh, fighting conch, but he's got himself buried too. So, ah, it's a big tank, so things can hide. Oh, no, there he is. There he is. Looking out from the sand right there. Okay, there you are, buddy. So we got him. That little eye is just the creepiest. So we can put invertebrates in here. We just can't put any fish. So that's the state of this tank right now. Okay, let's go feed the other guys. This tank, on the other hand, is very happy. And there we go. Everybody's gonna eat their breakfast. We feed them twice a day. Spread it out and then I sit here and I watch and I do a count and I make sure that everybody's eating and that everybody's happy. See this little guy over here, I gotta watch him, that little cardinal, making sure he's eating. Not sure why he's not kind of getting into it. It's always kind of keeping an eye on what, they, it's called livestock in a tank. I think he's just being picky because his belly is full. He's not a skinny fish. He's just being a picky fish. Okay, we're gonna have to keep an eye on him because uh, he's not eating. Everybody else is eating. And it just could be we feed very well in this tank, so it's very, very possible. He's just not hungry right now. He's been eating other stuff. But everybody else is happy and eating and having a good time. And then what you'll see, see all these little antennas down here? So they're gonna sense food, here they come. They're gonna start coming out of the sand. We call these zombie snails uh, because they come out at night and then they come out when they sense that there is something to eat. So here they come, they're, they're coming out of the sand because they sense the food, got put in the tank. And they're like, oh, let's go eat. They are just kind of creepy. Kind of creepy, but yep, oh, I think this one's coming up. Yep, see, he's, he's wiggling his little antenna. And there he is, coming to find something to eat. Oh, and just like that, 
That food is all gone. And then we get two more frozen cubes and put them in the cup to thaw for tonight's meal. And we put that in the refrigerator for later. Oh, this is the coral food that we feed and they only get that once a day. So we do that one at night, right before the lights go off. Good morning, Boosh. Good morning, Booshy. Say hi to everybody. Yes, it's cage cleaning day, isn't it? Yes, it's cage cleaning day for all the birdies. You can say good morning. I'm trying to get close, you know, so they don't see bars of a cage, but what? Do you want a pistachio? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know. It's not a pistachio, but you like it nonetheless. Okay. Oh, you. that's it. One bite and it's gone. You're a crazy bird. You're just a crazy bird. What you doing, Peanut? Say good morning to everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. Peanut's a happy dog this morning. Peanut's a happy dog this morning. Yes. Okay. Let's go check the rest of the birds. This is... JJ, and then we have Sky and Marley. These two have coupled up. This is the one that is uh, laying the eggs, the little white one. So uh, they're, a, they're a happy couple. And poor little JJ, he's over on the other side. He lost his buddy, he lost his brother. That's his brother. We're still determining if we're gonna keep these two together. But they're happy for now. Everybody's still happy. That's how flocks work. That's how flocks work. And here's the guy that started it all. Little scoop de doop Little Scoop. And he's got his girlfriend in there too. Where's your girlfriend? Where's Mango? Where is she? Oh, she's over there. Oh, she's in the back. She's in the back crawling around. She's not quite as friendly as Scoop. She's getting there. But Scoop is, Scoop is our little brat. Scoop's not scared of nothing. He's a manly man bird. There's your man go. Hello, dirty birds. Boy, it is definitely time to clean your cage today, too. Saturdays do tend to be our bird cage cleaning day. Hello. Hello, Pip. Hello, Buggy. I know, the camera's very scary. I know it is. And then that's Gordo right up there on the back. We got these two guys as babies to keep Gordo company. And they're doing quite but Oh, I know the camera's so scary. It's so scary. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. And then, well, there's only five in this cage right now because we got one little guy is in isolation because he got hurt. But uh, these guys are all happy and healthy having a good life in here in their big giant cage. And then this, this is, this is Barry. Barry, um, we think, I'm sorry, I don't wanna scare you, Barry. Barry got a little injury and it's caused him to have some neurological issues there, you can see. So he's, uh, he's recuperating in his own cage, but I don't wanna disturb him too much. And then we've got Cheeto. Cheeto the axolotl, we haven't shown him for a while. You can see he has gotten quite large. He's getting ready for a, 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 a home expansion. He's gonna go into a bigger, bigger little tank here soon, but uh, he is doing really well. Rachel takes really good care of him. He is a happy, happy guy. Oh yes, it's quite noisy in here with all the birds. It's not, it's not feeding time right now, little buddy. It's not feeding time. Yeah, let's see. Oh my goodness, I definitely, definitely need to go. Look at empty bags. In the Anybody else's kids do that? That's empty, that's our potato keeper. What do we have? Oh, you know what? I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a carrot kind of day for the guinea pigs. I have been avoiding the store. So we are a little low on things, girls. We're a little low. But do you want some carrots? It's also cage cleaning day for you guys. 
Yes, don't mind the dirty cages. They're getting clean today. All right, my girlfriends, here we go. One for you, little mamas. Oh, yeah, one for you. Two for you, you want two? You want another one? You want another one to have in there with you? No, you want another one to have in there with you? Yeah, yeah, you'll take it. Okay, that's what I thought. Will you take this one too? You want this one too? I'll just leave it in there with you. We got her this new little hut and she absolutely loves it. You can't see her, she's just a dark little guinea pig. All right, one cage down. Okay. Ooh, you guys, you guys are dirty girls. You guys are dirty girls, that didn't sound quite right. Here, I'm just gonna put these in your bowl and you guys can eat them at your leisure. There you go, happy guinea pigs. Now there won't be much to see in the way of the tortoises, but I do go and check and make sure nothing is messing with their burrows. I went and got my poor little car. I got a bale of straw that I transported in, in the poor little juice box. Um, but as you can see here, I've got them all tucked in. Hello, little bird, up on the fence. Hello probably loving digging through the straw so I can tell nothing is going on here but um, there's one little torty all tucked in there somewhere he's back there in the corner so he's all tucked in I put a little insulation on top and then this guy this one is down below so what I've done is I I stuffed the inside here which insulates down below and then also I'm insulating this a little more and then I covered the holes. So he's way deep under there, so we won't be able to see anything, but I've used the straw as insulation, so he stays all tucked in. <sighs> it's getting a little cold. Bamboo leaves are a little brown. I know they're getting water. Why would that be happening? Why are they just not getting enough water? Because it's like on a drip system kind of a thing. Hmm. I don't know much about bamboo. Oh, we got blooming roses in the winter. Little winter blooming roses. It's too bad that the uh, tortoises aren't awake because they would eat you. Okay, all right, let's go check on Shelly. So I'm super happy that Shelly got smart and went inside. Oh, you can't see her, she is, she is underneath. Oh, she's really got herself buried underneath. She's underneath all that straw. I put it in there, and then she buried herself even further under there. So she is all tucked in there somewhere. Underneath straw. I think right under there. You can kind of see a little, little peek at a tortoise shell. And last but not least, we have Hope and Priscilla have been moved to the garage because they need, need to stay cool. So there's little Hope. Oh, you can't see her. It's too dark here. Goodness, we can't see. There's some light in here, but it's not light enough to see. Anyway, there really is, there really is a little tortoise right there. It's okay, I don't want to disturb her because she's sleeping. Let's see if Priscilla, we get a little better angle. Oh, Priscilla. Oh, she's over here in this corner. Again, hard to see. I am so sorry. We don't have any, I can't turn the light on, hold on. I think it did something here. Oh, there we go. Here's a little Priscilla, sleeping soundly. And then I had to take my super steady cam off in order for the light to come on. And then I'll take a little peek. Oh, and then there's a little hope. There's a little hopey. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So they're gonna spend the winter in here uh, because it's too warm in the house. We don't want them warm. We want them in like the 60, like 40 to 60 degree range is where they like to spend their brew mating time. Um, too warm than that. And then their metabolism starts working and then they can't make it through the winter on their fat reserves. So this is where they will live for the next few months and uh, spend the winter. Oh, and here's a little sneak peek of uh, inventory that will be coming to live sales and whatnot sales 
very, very soon because I would rather sell all of this than have to uh, pack it up and move it again. So stay tuned for that. So yes, sitting here in my pajamas as I get ready to edit this video, put it up for you today. I'm going to get this video done and get down to the shop and continue to get that set up. But uh, until then, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.